Hey guys, Nerdy Nerf here. Um, still recovering from my hurt foot. Um, can't sleep. Back hurts. Yeah, pretty much all of that good stuff. But I finally did a mod on one of the two Mega Missiles. This is a uh, Uni Uniblast Berserker handle without the grip um, and this is a half of a PVC coupler um, it's, and I cut I, well I broke a square out of the shell so the coupler would fit I might go back with epoxy putty or some hot glue just to or like a piece of plastic and glue it down to make to fill it in but I didn't have my Dremel tools at the time um, and replacing the handle and adding a coupler cutting off the original barrel and putting schedule 40 on it so I can still use it with the coupler and shoot missiles um, but it gets better ranges now. Um, the missiles don't shoot as hard at 20 pumps, but they still shoot. And I can shoot Stefan's. Um, I can shoot Stefan's and I can shoot Stefan's and, um, you know a couple stock darts I'll give you a firing test it this is not such a good mod oh I had to uh, break away some of uh, the back just so the the pump would fit the round section would fit in there um, yeah that's, that's the only downside it could be cleaner if I had my Dremel but here's about and I, I didn't plug the pump on this one just I don't know why I'm going to be doing a pump replacement on the other one. The, the pump draw is extremely small. And here is a dry fire, dry fire sound test. You can see that the pin moves back. It does get stuck time from time to time. Let me see. Nice. Yep, it's coming all the way back. So, yeah, I'll give you um, a firing test with a couple step slug steffens at. Um, the gray box again <laughs> is my first uh, I didn't list it as a review on the Busby Mega Missile but that's what it is it's a review not anything else but a review so I'll turn it over there to the box and I'll take a max power uh, shooting test with uh, schedule 40 um, with CPVC in stock um, barrel all right let me load it up pump it up and line the camera up at the gray box Alright guys, there's the gray box, and I'm here, um, 
here is the uh, barrel I sent you about. The barrel with the CPVC in nested as a backstop. Alright, you get the amount of pumps that you normally would. Adjusting the camera here. Okay, we're ready to take a shot. That one all the way to the wall. And you just take the barrel and you insert it like so if you don't already know which is pretty easy alright guys that modified Busby Mega Missile. <sighs> This is how I find the easiest way to take the shell apart is to remove all the screws, pull the halves apart, and this. And this, uh, if you can see how it's got, hold on, if you can see how it has the little pegs you want to remove this little peg right here that way and the reason that you want to do it this way is so that this looks it just looks cleaner it looks natural and any other way of cutting down the middle or just snatching it apart will break this off break it off you don't want that. You want it to look more natural, more unharmed. So when you go to put it back together, the reason that you remove that um, that bar, this is kind of bright in the camera, that bar is so when you put it back, you have to slide this down in here like a tray, and then you push down, push down, and snap it together now the reason that you want don't want that bar there is so when you pull it apart it will turn off if you have that bar there it's just friction trying to rub together and then you're gonna break something else and you don't want that um another thing I thought of these blue these little blue dots is actually a plate you can get that plate off you can put LEDs in your mega missile and house it all in this little handle area here and the wires up under here because inside of your mega missile it goes like this 
and then your pump goes here and you actually have all all of this room up under here like if I pull this back you have all of that room in there that is a lot a lot of room right there like besides the, the small little trigger pin that is a lot of room but anyway onto the mod this one does not have an o-ring or a back wall like this one does what you do is you take a pair of scissors a drill bit and you basically you put a hole in it then you take some type of pipe you put it down in here and you want to get the pipe as close to this diameter as possible and you hit it with a hammer and when you hit it with a hammer it will break the plate loose causing it to be a total tube if you're doing my mod my mod I've seen one guy do it like this but he used epoxy putty and I don't think epoxy putty is that clean no offense to you I don't remember your name but if you see a mega missile mod with a ball pump like this give him respect he's a really great guy alright now I am will be using a PVC fitting from here to here and then this should fill the mega missile tank up with one sh one one pump um, now I've done it this way to make the pump shaft here an extended an extended tank version this from here from here up and down is the tank from here back is the pump now what I plan to do since I've punched that wall out I'm turning the pump shaft into an extended tank now what I'm gonna do is try to put a fitting here that'll go from this size to this size this is a bigger size than this so it'll look like this and inside the shell hopefully it'll look something like this the pump the back of the pump will end up being a stock so I have to dremel out the back of the shell to fit this and a little bit for the coupler right here so um, stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed it and it helped you out people that want mega missiles and I actually had this rubber thing from a blowgun that I'm planning on putting around this stock, uh, the, the this uh, pump handle, in case I want to pump it, you know, this way, or just in general, it gets too hard. Let me show you the force. So anyway, nerdy nerd, see you next video. Um, please rate, subscribe, and leave new ideas for new projects. Hopefully, a paintball rocket launcher. So we'll see.